In an IAEA quarterly report leaked last week, the nuclear watchdog said its inspectors had found particles of uranium in Iran enriched to near weapons grade. Returning from a visit to Tehran, the organization's chief said that did not mean Iran was actually producing such material. There has not been production or accumulation of uranium at that uh, level, which is a very high level, of course, 60 is already very high, but as I said, we have um, we, ways and means to inspect it. Weapons-grade uranium is enriched to 90 percent. Iran said the finding of 83.7 percent at one of its sites was an unintended fluctuation. In their report, they mentioned particles of 84 percent. There is not enrichment activity at that level. There was no enriched uranium above 60 percent. This ambiguity has been somehow resolved. It all comes at a sensitive time with attempts to restore the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action, the nuclear deal signed with Tehran in 2015. Then President Trump withdrew unilaterally from the JCPOA in 2018 and imposed multiple sanctions on Iran. We want to continue our relations with the IAEA for the agency to be able to perform its duties regarding Iran's nuclear program within the framework of the Comprehensive Safeguards Agreement. We stress the need to avoid issues that would hit our relations with the IAEA. Iranian President Ibrahim Raisi echoed those sentiments in his meeting with the IAEA head but warned Iran's rights had to be respected. Last week, the CIA director, William Burns, expressed concern about Iran's nuclear program. We don't see evidence that they made a decision to resume their weaponization program, but the other dimensions of this challenge, uh, I think, are growing at a worrisome pace, too. Tehran has always maintained its nuclear program is for peaceful purposes. Nick Toxvig, Al Jazeera.